How's it going, everybody? I'm Andrew Robson, and you're watching Rakuyo's Assiduous Bonsai Channel. On today's episode, we are going to recap the 2024 Shohin School Winter Shohin Seminar. I'm going to talk about what we did over the weekend. We're going to share a lot of photos about the event, and we're going to talk about the Shohin community that Jonas Dupuy and I are building here on the West Coast, which I am so excited about. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video about the 2024 Winter Shohin Seminar. Now, all the photos you're going to see come from our friend Aki at Momiji Bonsai N. Uh, and so we just want to say thank you, Aki, for taking photos. As organizers, uh, we don't really get the chance to document the event as much as we would like. So thank you, Aki, for all of these wonderful photos. Um, Jonas Dupuy and I created Shohin School after the first Pacific Bonsai Expo when we did not get very many Shohin submissions. And our goal for Shohin School is to get students to create, maintain, and dis display outstanding Shohin Bonsai. And we want to teach them how to do that every step of the way. Now, our goal for Shohin School has been to teach display first and then work backwards to making a tree. Shohin is so display uh, focused that if you don't know display, you have no idea how to create trees for Shohin. Uh, because Shohin are displayed in groups of multiple trees, you need to know from the beginning how those trees are going to work together. And so that's why at Shohin School, we have been very display oriented so that students know how to create trees to fit into these very complex displays. And so our guest for doing this is Daisaku Namoto, who is a Shohin Bonsai master from uh, Japan. He lives in Miyazaki. He's a judge at Gafu Ten. He's been on the Shohin Bonsai Association's uh, uh, organizational um, um, committee, uh, and he is a one of the top bar artists who practice Shohin Bonsai in Japan. And so he has come to the last two events and has been such an amazing teacher for all of our students to uh, give them a foundation of Shohin Bonsai display. And so what we do is we practice display by making displays. We get all the different uh, stand types that Jonas and I have and we get them in a room and we just let students play. We teach them the the, the foundational kind of concepts and then we let them create displays with their own trees and we have Daisaku Nomoto, that Gafu Ten judge, give us feedback on those displays. So it's it's a bit of lecture, it's a bit of uh, group exercises, and that combination has been really successful for teaching students a good foundation for Shohin Bonsai display. We had about 60 people this year from all over the country. We had people from Texas, from uh, Minnesota, from Wisconsin, from California, Oregon, Washington, Connecticut, uh, Arizona, and I think maybe a couple other states. So it was a pretty diverse crowd, and uh, it was a really, really fun group. Um, I'm really, really excited with how the event went. Uh, David Niddle drove across the country from Vermont to uh, do a stand building workshop for our students. So we had 25 new Shohin Bonsai stands that were added to the community. And they range from huge box stands to three point uh, or three tree stands to individual stands. So 25 new stands went into the community with this one event. We were so thrilled to have David come out uh, because he made a tremendous effort, him uh, and his, his helper, Kevin, uh, to, to drive across the country with all of these materials. Um, it, David gave me <laughs> an amazing piece of feedback. He said he's been to bonsai you know, shows and conventions all over the country, and he learned more at our event than he's ever learned at any other event. And so uh, it really speaks to Daisaku Nomoto's uh, friendly teaching style that you know he's just a wealth of information for all of our students. So we had a great weekend. It was probably the best Shohin vendor selection I've ever seen in the United States. Uh, Rakuyo Bonsai and myself had a bunch of, of uh, deciduous uh, Shohin for sale. Uh, Bonsai Tonight, Jonas Dupuy, had the best selection of stands that that have ever been offered in the United States, both big uh, box stands for sale, uh, the stand on stands for sale. I think he 
brought somewhere close to 40 or 50 of the small stands that you put on top of the box stand. And I think all of those sold, uh, or, or almost all of them sold. Uh, and so uh, it was a really, really fun vendor selection. John Eads had a great uh, selection of pre bonsai from Left Coast Bonsai. Um, Scott Elser had his tree gear shirts uh, for sale. Um, it was a, a really wonderful event. Of course, now Tokutake and Mary um, had a wonderful selection of shohin containers. Uh, Daisaku Nomoto actually brought several high-end pots from Japan to sell. So it was just a really fun event for getting shohin material and really teaching shohin information. The first day we kind of focused heavily on display. We set up uh, box stand displays. We set up three-point displays, uh, and it was just so fun having the students uh, learn how to do all of that uh, with Daisaku, Jonas, and myself. Um, so that was Saturday. It was super display focused. On Sunday, uh, Daisaku and myself started the day with uh, some demonstrations. He did a juniper demo, and I did several deciduous demos, because you can do several deciduous in the same uh, course of time. And so uh, we had a really fun morning of demonstrations. After lunch, Jonas Dupuy did a lecture on how to grow pines and juniper uh, shohin from scratch. And then we finished the day with a critique uh, where we critiqued one tree from everybody uh, in the group. Uh, and so uh, Daisaku was able to give a lot of fun thoughts and feedback uh, for people's shohin bonsai collections. So it was a really outstanding event. We had positive feedback from everybody who came uh, and it was just such a really heartwarming exercise, even doing it the second year to see the progression that happened from year one to year two. So we are on the midst of building a really outstanding shohin bonsai community here on the West Coast, thanks to Daisaku Nomoto uh, and the Shohin School, that concept that Jonas and I have been working on. Uh, and we plan to do a lot more in the future. We're looking at doing a another Shohin School event sometime this summer and maybe starting uh, a California Shohin uh, event as well. So we have some things in the works. Uh, stay tuned for more information about that. But Shohin School is growing, it's expanding, and we really want to get across this Shohin Bonsai knowledge, which really starts with display, like we said, because if you don't know display, uh, a lot of what can happen with Shohin Bonsai is kind of meaningless. So how Shohin Bonsai fits into a display context really dictates the work, the choices, everything that goes into creating and maintaining outstanding Shohin Bonsai. So that's our goal for Shohin School, to help students create uh, maintain, and most importantly, display outstanding Shohin Bonsai. So a big thank you for Daisaku Nomoto to coming over to the United States two years in a row to help teach this. We could not have a better Bonsai teacher, and I know our students here have been so tremendously lucky and thankful to learn from such a wonderful, talented, but also just a really great uh, human being. Thanks to everyone who helped make Shohin School a success. You know, the group that I've created here in Portland, my, my Shohin study group, was just amazing the whole weekend with uh, helping get set up, tear down, bring snacks. Um, there's just a lot of really good people here who have a passion for uh, these extra small bonsai and uh, we couldn't do all of this uh, without them. So thanks everybody who helped participate and we hope to see all of you who were able to come to the first two Shohin schools at a future Shohin school event. If you wanna learn more about Shohin school, we have a website www.shohinschool.com and uh, Jonas and I will have more information coming soon for future events down the road. So thanks for tuning in. You're watching Rakuyo Bonsai. Uh, deciduous bonsai channel. I'm Andrew Robson uh, and thanks for tuning in. We will see you at a future Shohin School event.